I'm Lila Garrett. Next on Connect the Dots, KPFK's board election is coming up in August. And in order to vote in it or run for office in it, you have to join KPFK by July 14th. With us, with all of the details on how to do all that, is Grace Aaron. Now, Grace Aaron was on the KPFK local station board as a member from 2003 to 2009, six solid years until she was termed out, and then on the Pacifica National Board from 2008 to 2009, the Pacifica Interim Executive Director in 2009. Big job. again. Now, we want to go through the election calendar because there's a lot of confusion about it. First, tell us, how do you join Pacifica if you are not already a member? It's really, really simple. You go to the KPFK website, kpfk.org, and you just look at the top. It says support. You click on support, and you can become a member for $25 a year. Simple $25. That makes you eligible to vote in the election. By becoming a member of KPFK, you're also a member of Pacifica. KPFK is one of five radio stations owned by the Pacifica Foundation. So if you become a member of KPFK, you're automatically basically a member of Pacifica. So that's very simple. Now, what are the dates? By what date must you become a member of KPFK in order to vote? You have to be a member of KPFK by July 14th to be eligible to run for the local station board of KPFK. So that's right around the corner, July 14th. Yeah. And in order to run for the local station board, what should you do and how do you campaign? Well, you go to kpfk.org website and you scroll down. There's a big block. It's green. It says Election Central. You click on that and that takes you to the Pacifica Elections website. And it has all the information about what you have to do to, to qualify to be a candidate, all the things you have to do to become a candidate, and so on and so forth. So all you have to do is click on that, and they'll send you all the information, or you can download all the information. So tell us once okay, more. Okay, you go to kpfk.org. Right. You scroll down a little bit to where you see Election Central. You click on that, and it takes you to a place that gives you all the information about the KPFK election. That's good. Well, in terms of character, what sort of people would be best for the KPFK local board? We really need people with a sense of humor. You know, progressives often are too serious. We need people with a sense of humor. We need people who are effective, efficient, who care about Pacifica more than they care about their own petty self-interest or the petty self-interest of their sectarian group that they belong to, who care about the whole ball of wax of Pacifica so that Pacifica continue to bring forward diverse ideas from diverse communities. We want to have people who are of all ethnicities, all age groups, all social viewpoints. We want to have a lot of different ideas in this network. We want people who are interested in music, interested in national politics, international and local politics, all kinds of interests, science, biology, the environment, social justice, of course, and lots of other things. We had a great show. One of the best shows ever on the air was Hour 25. It was a science fiction show. Lots of people loved it. We had an opera show. We want to bring different diverse interests from our Southern California community to KPFK. I want to read from the Pacifica Bylaws. It says in the beginning of the Pacifica Bylaws, this foundation is committed to peace and social justice and seeks to involve in its governance and operations individuals committed to these principles. This is right in our bylaws. Pacifica means peace. KPFK is one of the five Pacifica stations. So please, if you're committed to peace and social justice, consider running for the local station board. The bylaws also say the foundation is committed to diversity and inclusion of all nations, races, ethnicities, creeds, colors, classes, genders, sexual orientations, ages, and people with disabilities in its programming, staff, management, committees, and governance.
Yes, but I want to repeat the first thing you said, which was we want people with a sense of humor. Absolutely. Yeah. And not only about issues, but about themselves. Now, why don't you give us some hints of what's the most important thing you can do if you want to be elected to the board? What can you do to inform the voters of who you really are? Well, I would like first to reach out to our audience because we have not been properly noticing our meetings and other events to the general public. Because of that and some other reasons, Pacifica has lost its Corporation for Public Broadcasting funding. That means in the last few years, we have lost a total of over $2 million in CPB funding. That's a huge amount of money to lose. That's across the whole network. The five stations, KPFK in Los Angeles, WBAI in New York, KPFA in San Francisco, WPFW in Washington, D.C., and KPFT in Houston. These are the largest metropolitan areas in the U.S. It's so important to keep our message alive across the country. Pacifica also has over 130 affiliated stations that carry much of our programming. We also have a historical archive that's priceless. It has all these wonderful speeches and radio shows by progressive celebrities for the last 60 years. It's invaluable to all of us who care about peace and social justice. And it's not just the Corporation for Public Broadcasting funding that we've lost. All of our vital statistics of Pacifica have been declining for quite a number of years. And this is all a symptom of poor governance. Pacifica is owned by basically the Pacifica National Board. The Pacifica National Board is elected by the local station board members. Each local station board votes for people on that local board to be on the Pacifica National Board. And the Pacifica National Board can sell assets, can mortgage stations. Basically, the Pacifica National Board is the owner of the whole ball of wax, the five stations, the archives, and the affiliate network. So it's really important. We really, really need good governance. And the good governance starts with the local boards. It's not just an airy-fairy board of directors. These boards have actual power to approve or disapprove budgets, to recommend that general managers and program directors be fired, to hire program directors and general managers, et cetera, et cetera. Local boards are real governing boards. They're not just fundraising boards or anything like that. And the KPFK election is really, really, really important because our last election failed. And so now every single seat on the local station board of KPFK is open. 18 listener members and six staff members sit on the local station board. That's a lot of seats. So all 24 seats are open, which means that if the election fails, the other reason to become a member of KPFK is because even if you don't want to be a board member, You still won't be able to vote in the local station board election unless you're a member. Only members can vote in that election. So there are two reasons to become a member now before July 14th, which is the cutoff date. You got to be a member now to either become a candidate or to vote in the local station board election. Tell us about life on the local board, because we want to recommend to our listeners something to do that's really useful. That's really fun, and that's really edifying. And if we're talking about something that's really torture, we really want to hear about it. (laughs) Well, you know, we all love democracy. I'm sure you love democracy. I certainly do, and I don't see nearly enough of it in our own country. So, yes, of course I do. Of course, except we both know that, let's face it, some of the time you suffer when you're a person who believes in democracy. However, our chance, if enough really good people out there run for the board and get elected, it'll be a wonderful time on the local station board because every single seat on the local station board at KPFK is open. So we have the chance as listeners with good intentions to make it a wonderful board that's efficient, effective, and fun. But if we don't do anything and if the election fails, it will be the same old board. Let me put it this way. Governance could certainly be improved. So the the membership of KPFK is around 13,000 now. The election to meet its quorum has to have the vote 
1,300 of our members have to vote in the election. So that's all. Just 1,300 people have to fill out their election ballot, which will probably be done electronically. But if you want a paper ballot, you can probably ask for it. So it's a small amount of people who are going to decide the future of KPFK and potentially the future of all of Pacifica. Now, let me ask you again. When does the actual election take place? You can nominate yourself for the local station board between now and July 14th. That's a short amount of time. Please, we need help. If you have the time and the inclination, nominate yourself for the local station board of KPFK. There's a good chance that you'll get on the board because 24 seats are open, so you could make it. And if you do want to run on the board, Urge a friend to do it with you because you want to have company. You want to share the time carpool with another person. Probably the both of you will get on the board. It's a great thing for younger people. You know what it means on your resume to say that you've been on the governance board of a radio station? That really is a powerful thing to have on your resume. It is. You're right about that. You know, and you learn about Robert's Rules of Order. You learn about how governing boards operate. You learn about democracy. You learn about the pluses of democracy, the minuses of democracy. You learn about how committees function, how committees bring things to the board as a whole. It's a real learning experience. It's very powerful. You get a lot out of it. You learn how to speak in public, how to write motions that get voted on up or down. If you're a politician, this is a good thing. You know, run for the local station board, campaign. It gives you practice. In other words, do all of this before July 14th. Absolutely. Become a member, $25, or if you volunteer for three hours, you'll get a membership without any money. Look at the kpfk.org website, scroll down to the election logo there, press on it, and you'll get all the information. Well, Grace Aaron, if anybody knows how to get on the station board, it is you, and we're very glad you were chosen to do that. You were a wonderful leader. I was on the board for six years, and I'm here to tell you that it was a positive experience all in all, and I would strongly encourage people to join the local station board. Well, you have done that. you made it seem very, very tempting. And thank you so much for those excellent instructions, and I believe we have fulfilled our duty because our charter says elections should be promoted on the air. Thank you, Lila.